this view on the deck of the USS Portland, and there is a view out of the cabin camera of Orion as it continues a series of roll reversals. We have data back from the spacecraft. Flight Dynamics reports Orion straight and narrow on a true course toward its splashdown site. Forward bay cover jettisoning is less than three and a half minutes from now, 150,000 feet off the ocean. Orion is now traveling at Mach 10. Orion's speed is now down to Mach 6. Two minutes until forward bay cover jettisoning. Orion is at 100,000 feet now, the spacecraft about to go subsonic. 45 seconds until forward bay cover jettisoning. Orion is now at 50,000 feet. Forward bay cover jettisoning pyros are armed. At 25,000 feet, drogues have been deployed. Good drogue shoots have been reported by the recovery team out in the Pacific. The descent rate is right on the money. Orion's velocity is now down to 282 miles an hour. Range to splashdown is one and a half miles. 10,000 feet now, and we're on mains. 5,000 feet, reefing in progress. Three good main chutes for Orion. We have three fully inflated main chutes. Time to splash down, 90 seconds. A perfect descent rate is reported. And there it is, high over the Pacific, America's new ticket to ride to the moon and beyond now in view. Orion, under its chutes, is descending toward splashdown. Orion is in the perfect orientation for splashdown, seconds away. 1,000 feet. Good descent rate. 500 feet. Splashdown. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Litro to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion is back on Earth. Unofficial splashdown time, 11.40 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time, at a mission elapsed time of 25 days, 10 hours, 54 minutes, and 50 seconds. That's unofficial. Splashing down off the coast of Baja, California. The crew module uprighting system is now being inflated, for bags currently being inflated. We have a report that Orion is stable, upright, the way it should be. Once again, splashdown occurred at 11.40 a.m. Central Time, 9.40 a.m. Pacific Time, west of Baja, California, after a textbook entry for the Orion spacecraft, bringing its 25 and 8 half the day mission to an end. Following splashdown, recovery teams are now moving into position to secure Orion. The U.S. Navy and NASA recovery personnel, aboard the USS Portland, are coordinating efforts to safely retrieve the spacecraft from the Pacific waters. The recovery team is closely monitoring Orion's stability as the uprighting bags ensure it remains in the proper position. Helicopters and boats are circling the area, assessing the conditions and preparing for the next phase of the recovery operation. Divers are set to approach Orion, attach harnesses, and secure it for transport back to the recovery ship. The USS Portland is standing by, ready to receive Orion once it is safely hoisted aboard. Mission controllers are continuing post-splashdown checks verifying spacecraft integrity and collecting data from the vehicle sensors. The recovery team reports that Orion is in excellent condition, with no immediate signs of damage from reentry or splashdown impact. Teams are also monitoring environmental conditions, ensuring a safe and efficient retrieval process. As Orion bobs in the Pacific, teams are gathering telemetry data confirming that all mission. 
objectives have been successfully completed. This marks the conclusion of Artemis I, a historic uncrewed test flight paving the way for future missions that will carry astronauts back to the Moon and, ultimately, to Mars. NASA officials are expected to hold a post-mission briefing shortly, where they will discuss Orion's performance, recovery operations, and the next steps for the Artemis program. With Orion's safe return, NASA takes another step closer to deep space exploration, reaffirming its commitment to pushing the boundaries of human spaceflight. The Orion spacecraft, having traveled over a million miles during its mission, now rests in the Pacific, awaiting its journey back to shore. The data collected from this mission will provide critical insights into future Artemis flights, ensuring the safety and success of upcoming crewed missions to the Moon and beyond. As the recovery operation progresses, NASA and U.S. Navy teams are executing their carefully planned procedures to bring Orion aboard the USS Portland. Small boats have reached the spacecraft, and divers are securing recovery lines to the capsule. The team is ensuring Orion remains stable as they prepare to tow it toward the ship's well deck. Meanwhile, engineers at NASA's Johnson Space Center are receiving the final sets of data from Orion's onboard systems. This data will help analyze the spacecraft's heat shield performance, parachute deployment sequence, and overall reentry conditions. Orion's heat shield, which endured temperatures of nearly 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit upon reentry, is one of the most critical components to be examined. As the spacecraft is slowly brought toward the USS Portland, the team is also deploying environmental monitoring systems to ensure the recovery does not impact marine life. Once Orion reaches the well deck, it will be carefully hoisted onto the ship for transport back to shore, where NASA engineers will begin detailed inspections. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, along with Artemis mission managers, is expected to provide remarks later today, celebrating the success of the Artemis I mission. The agency has already begun preparations for Artemis II, which will carry astronauts around the moon, setting the stage for Artemis III, the mission that will land humans on the lunar surface for the first time in over 50 years. With Artemis I successfully completed, NASA and its international partners reaffirm their commitment to deep space exploration. The data gathered from this mission will help refine future spacecraft designs, ensuring safe and efficient travel for astronauts in the coming decades. As Orion makes its way back to shore, the world watches with anticipation for what comes next. The Artemis program is now one step closer to landing the first woman and the next man on the moon paving the way for human exploration beyond Earth's orbit and, ultimately, to Mars.